Hey, what's up guys? It's Foster from Subi Speed, and in today's video, we're doing one of my favorite modifications you can do to a WX or an STI, and that, of course, is upgrading the rear sway bar to improve the car's handling. So let's talk specifically about what I'm putting on the car today. I've got the new rear sway bar here from Faction Fab. This is a 22 millimeter thick rear sway bar, so a little bit thicker than that 20 millimeter sway bar that comes from the factory, and it's got a couple nice features that I really like. It's got three ways of adjustment, so we can set it either full stiff or full soft, or obviously in between, depending on your driving style, you can really dial the car in. And it comes with these polyurethane bushings, which are greaseless, which means we're gonna have a cleaner insulation and we're not gonna have to worry about as much maintenance down the road. Upgrading to a bigger rear sway bar on all-wheel drive cars helps reduce understeer and helps the car to rotate, which is why it's such a popular modification for this platform. So now you guys know what we're up to, let's go ahead and get started. In preparation for this video, I went ahead and removed the axle back section of our exhaust here. It's gonna give us a little bit more room to work and it's gonna make it easier for you guys to see what I'm doing. This step is optional. You can also just remove your exhaust hangers and that way the exhaust will drop down a little bit more, giving you room to remove the stock sway bar. So the first thing we're gonna get started doing is removing the end links that attach to the lower control arms. Using a 12 millimeter, you can remove this nut that's attaching the end link to the lower control arm. You can also disconnect the end link at the upper mounting point to the sway bar, but since this end link is so rusty, I'm gonna go ahead and remove it with the sway bar as one piece. Next, there are two 12 millimeter bolts that attach the sway bar to the subframe. Go ahead and remove those as well. You might have to use a pry bar to pry out these stock end links from your lower control arms. And then once you get the end links removed, the whole sway bar should come out. Before we install the new Faction Fab sway bar on the car, there's a couple things you gotta do to set it up. I've loosely installed these locking collars. They come with a little Allen key, and you can just get these loosely put on the sway bar at the moment, then we'll tighten these down later. Then you can go ahead and put the polyurethane bushings in place. As I said before, they're greaseless, so you don't have to do any prep to these, which is really nice, because in the past you've had to use a bunch of grease and it makes a hell of a mess, so this is really nice. See, it just snaps on place there. You can loosely put the collar right next to it, we'll install it, and then we can lock everything down. Grab your metal brackets and install those over the bushing. Then I'm gonna use just one piece of hardware for now to hold it in place and then I can do the other side. One thing to pay attention to is that this tab on the bracket goes in this hole up above. We've got the sway bar held loosely in place. Now I'm gonna add the upper hardware so that it is attached securely to the subframe. These aren't included in the kit, but I'm gonna be installing some white line end links to complement this Faction Fab sway bar. If you guys do wanna pick up end links like this, I'll put links in the description down below where you can find them on the website. The benefit of installing some thicker end links like I have here is that they're not gonna snap under load like sometimes the stock end links will snap on these cars, especially when you have a bigger rear sway bar. So I'd highly recommend installing some aftermarket end links with your new Faction Fab rear sway bar. I'm gonna be installing the sway bar on the middle setting, so not full soft or full stiff. I think that's gonna be a great place to start and we're gonna see how the car feels and then dial it in from there. Another nice feature of this white line rear end link kit is it comes with new hardware as well, so we'll have some fresh hardware to complement our new sway bar and our new end links. Mm -hmm. 
I almost forgot that the Faction Fab kit comes with an additional brace due to the fact that it's a thicker rear sway bar. It's gonna need a little bit more bracing than your factory sway bar. And this mounts to the lower control arm mounting point here and this lower bushing mount point. So I'm gonna undo this 12, 12 millimeter uh, bolt I installed earlier and the 17 millimeter nut. Then we can get this new brace installed. And since our hardware will no longer be long enough for this new brace, uh, Faction Fab has included new hardware as well. This is a 13 millimeter, so once you get it started by hand, use a 13 to tighten it down. Tighten down the mounting point for your lower control arm to 59 foot-pounds. Next, tighten down the hardware that connects your end link to your lower control arm to 34 foot-pounds. The last step of this install is to tighten down these lateral locks, slide them into place, leaving about a three to four millimeter gap, and then tighten them down with the provided Allen wrench. And then once you're done with that, you do wanna check under your suspension travel to make sure that nothing is hitting. And typically you can do this with a car on the ground once you have everything tight. All right, well that's really all there is to installing a rear sway bar on your WRX or your STI. It's a pretty easy project to do and it makes a huge difference with how your car handles. So I'd highly recommend this upgrade if you guys don't already have a bigger rear sway bar installed. All I'm gonna do now is pretty much put the axle back back on our car and put the car in the ground, tighten down those end links since you wanna do that with the car under load and we're pretty much good to go. So if you guys wanna pick up a Faction Fab rear sway bar, I'll put links in the description down below to that and the white line and links that I used in this video. And with all that said, see you guys next time.